Now we'll see an important phenomenon, which is related to why the sky is, uh, appears to be blue in color. For that to understand, we'll have a simple example before that. Like if you have a dark room, okay, and you just open the window or a ventilator, uh, you see the sun rays coming through the ventilator into the room. And when you just sweep the room at that particular point in time, you'll be able to observe that a streak of light you will be able to observe a streak of light and in that streak of light you will have different dust particles which you are able to see the trace of the it is because of these dust particles you are able to see the streak of light over there as if the sun rays are appearing this is quite normal observation what you do at times okay so why are you able to observe that uh, streak of light because of this dust thing is like these dust particles which are tiny in size they are scattering the light which is incident on them light as you study at higher uh, classes in studying higher classes for, uh, goes at uh, propagates in the form of waves okay there are different characteristics of waves called wavelength frequency velocity etc okay so when we discuss the dispersion of white light into its constituent colors it is because of the difference in velocity that they have different wavelengths also okay violet is having the least wavelength and red is having the largest wavelength okay so the relation between this is very important to understand the concept of wavelength you can see here i can say c is equal to n into lambda so c is velocity is equal to frequency into wavelength this is the greek letter lambda n or nu both can be used for frequency either you can use the n or greek alphabet nu and this is c is for velocity of light is equal to n into lambda i can use either this r n anyway this is called new symbol pronounced as new okay so this is the relation between velocity frequency and wavelength as far as in whenever tra light travels from one medium to the other medium frequency remains constant this will not change what changes is this okay when c is less wavelength is less you observe that the velocity of light in when it is entering from air to glass okay in glass you have a composite light it is dispersed you have different seven seven different colors okay we we saw clearly that velocity of uh, violet is less compared to the twin of red so wavelength of uh, violet is less in the air if you consider c is constant okay c is constant in one particular medium if you consider in one particular medium velocity of light is constant in that if c is constant c is equal to n lambda so if this is increasing this will reduce or if this increases sorry if this decreases this will increase that means lesser the frequency greater the wavelength c being constant c is constant okay so lesser the frequency greater the wavelength or greater the frequency lesser the wavelength violet to red if you see okay frequency frequency decreases so wavelength increases in air or vacuum okay c is constant velocity of light is constant in that case the velocity the frequency of violet is greater than that of red as you go from violet to red frequency decreases that means 
I can write like N V violet is greater than N R red. Whereas wavelength increases, I can write lambda V wavelength of violet is less than wavelength of red. This is the expression what we have. It is because of this wavelength concept. What happens is the light will scat get scattered. Light gets scattered. Whenever the wavelength of the uh, light or wavelength of the particles, which are colloidal particles, which are in the atmosphere, they are comparable with that of the wavelength of the different colors. They get scattered. Okay. It is because of this scattering of light that you are able to observe the sky is blue when compared to the other colors okay the the wavelength of a, a violet color or blue color is much equal to that of the atmospheric particle so it is being out of different colors which are being scattered okay among the different colors of light which is being scattered blue is the predominant color that is the reason from earth if you observe the sky sky appears to be blue in color suppose you cross the earth and go into the space there you don't have any atmosphere you don't have any particles to scatter the light so you if you are facing the sun you will be able to see the white light or if you are in the dark it will be dark that's it there is no concept of different colors over there okay so if you are on the darker side of the, of the uh, facing the uh, away from the sun then you will be able to see the sky as dark or if you are on the facing the uh, sun side in the space you will be observing to be white but not like blue and other things if that is the case now we have one more uh, concept like why is the sun appearing to be red during the sunrise and during the sunset that is one more concept okay so to understand that we have a effect called tyndall effect what we observe okay tyndall effect so he studied uh, tyndall studied the scattering of light phenomenon basically you can take a small experiment over there like see uh, you take a glass beaker of clear water in it up to filled up to this level so here you place a convex lens and here i have a white source of light white source of light the convex lens on this source of light is a point source you adjust the distance such a way that this distance is equal to this focal length when this is equal to the focal length what happens is you have a divergent beam coming from this and after passing through the lens it will become parallel that means you place a source at its focus you get a parallel beam light is passing through this parallel beam this parallel beam of light is passing through this water glass of water transparent medium and again here you are able to get the parallel beam here you have one more lens okay convex lens and here you place a screen okay once you place a screen here what's happening is this parallel beam of light is passing through this and again here on the focus screen which is placed at a focal length distance here you are able to see a spot bright spot of light which is nothing but the image of this source i have two convex lenses the distance between this this is equal to its focal length here the purpose is to have a parallel beam that is the reason i place this source of light at its focus point now i place a glass of water clear water over here it passes normally and again this light when passing through a, another convex lens is again focused on a screen and i'll get a spot of light over here fine perfectly fine now if i 
put few drops of hypo in it sodium trisulfate what will happen is this will react with water and forms a colloidal solutions of sulfur okay so gradually what will happen is like this entire color this side from whatever the way you are looking at through this side this glass appears to be blue and here you are able to see that uh, orange or red colors of light over on the screen what's happening is what are the colloidal particles that are being formed over here okay their wavelengths are comparable to that of the light okay so being that the colloidal particles whose a uh, size is comparable to that of the wavelength of light they are scattering of the light when they are scattering what they are scattering is towards this end you are appearing you are seeing blue color when as onto the horizon this side you are observing the red and the orange are colors that is what you are appearing on screen so same way similar thing is happening suppose the sun is over here and this is the horizon so when the light rays are coming this way here in the horizon when they are striking the horizon you see the red color over there because of their larger wavelengths and when the sun is over here there is at the noon time or much daylight in the daylight the scattering of light is occurring most of the blue color so that is the reason when sunset or sun, sunrise or sunset okay you are able to see the red or orange colors of the sun which is coming through and when gradually it appear it ang the angle is increasing then the scattering is most of the blue color that's what you are observing over here so this is the exponent made by tindall effect and this is the reason behind the sun appearing to be like a red or reddish in during the sunset or sunrise and in the other times the sky appears to be blue that is the reason behind it okay so one more point to be uh, noted is like it also depends upon the angle okay as the angle is increasing the brightness also increases okay and as we have discussed that wavelength of red color is much greater than that of the violet it is because of this the scattering appears so the red color is least scattered try to understand the red color is least scattered so the scattering of red color is least over here that is the reason you are able to observe the uh, red color over here the other particles are scattering other colors are scattering over here so you are able to see the blue color over here in this experiment so red color being least scattered that is passing through okay same concept because of the least scattering of red light it is used in the danger signals or in even in the uh, traffic signals also you observe the traffic signals they use red to stop okay why because when the red light is seen that red light is seen from very large distances also because of its least scattering concept okay so why it is being red color is being used as a danger signal is because of this it is least scattered so it will be appearing for larger distances you will be able to observe it for larger distances that is the reason it is appearing to be uh, used in this danger signals and other things hope it's clear if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus